I'll use your jacu, baby. Yes, you are. Mwah. These are just a few of the little critters that Pat Music calls her babies. It's a little thicker than they're used to. Watch your foot, honey. Her tiny little suburban Maryland home is filled with ferrets. 32 at last count. Hello, girls. Hello. Hello, Pocahontas. Hello, Chantilly Lace and Dusty. The little fuzzy guys are all over the place, dancing around and playing. And sometimes, they can get into some trouble. Hey! Oh my gosh! Are you stuck? Oh, Jesus. In all the years I've had ferrets, nobody's ever tried to get in there. Sure, there's always going to be that one. Oh, just give me a second. I do. I freak very easily when it comes to my ferrets. There you go. She spends hours a day caring for them, as well as thousands of dollars a year on veterinary bills and food and litter, which she gets delivered by the ton. And they deliver it and leave it right out there on the curb. So I have to take two tons back into my shed, which is at the back end of the yard. So I'm kind of hurting for a few days after that. Pat breeds her critters and sells some to other ferret lovers from all over. While she doubts she'll ever see a profit, she's reaping benefits in other ways. You can't have a down day with ferrets. We are sort of a different breed. Our ferrets are extremely important to us. We don't like them being put down. We don't like them being called rats. We are very adamant about our ferrets. Pat's more inclined to use the word rat in describing her ex-husband. He learned about her loyalties the hard way. One day he made a mistake. He threatened him. When he came back from work that day, there was a restraining order waiting for him, and the locks were changed. Love me, love my ferrets. That's exactly what she's been doing now for the past 15 years, since she reluctantly took in her first ferret, Prissy, as a gift from her son. He was hoping the critter would boost her spirits after her father died. So when he brought me Prissy, he said you needed to keep your mind on other things. <laughs> and I did. But she taught me how to love ferrets. She wrapped herself around my heart before I knew I even liked her. In the years since, she's cared for many, many more and some of them have been champions. This is Topaz. She took best of show out in, in Michigan. But apart from all the joy, Pat says, her animal companions have also brought her a fair share of heartache. From Ishkaret, I lost six in one year, within a short time span. And that was the worst time of my life, I think. As crazy as it might sound, I, I actually had them cremated. And I have boxes, little oak boxes on the porch with their ashes. Maybe sometime I can empty them. But for now, for now they're here. And I miss them. I miss them very much.